The explosive thump of boot against ball echoed through the Hillview area, prompting a roar from the fans and a Vuvuzela fanfare. With the CSP for Soccer World Cup receiving so much attention in South Africa, one cannot help but also wonder what has been done for the development of the sport, especially within the younger age groups. Easter Mosaic is attending a soccer tournament here in Peter Maritzburg, where the focus is not only on the competitive side of things, but also on promoting a sporting culture amongst our youth. The tournament has a 37-year history. Rakesh, welcome to Eastern Mosaic. Thank you. Give us a little background on the history of this event. When was it first held and what was the inspiration behind it? This tournament goes back to phew, 1973, where it originally started in Northdale Stadium in Peter Maritzburg. And uh, over the years, chopping and changing, we had the guys from that association eventually move over into this ground in around 1995. Beginning 2008, there were no sponsors and then that's where it was about to stop. Tell us what happened. There wasn't going to be a tournament and we said there's so many young guys with so much potential. A long Easter weekend, they're so passionate for soccer. Do we just let it be without a tournament or do we try and reach out for help? And we turned to Gift of the Givers, Dr. Mjaz Suleiman without hesitation turned and said, one week before the tournament we approached him and he said, the tournament must go on. Today the players can focus their full attention on winning the match, but two years earlier it was only thanks to the gift of the givers that the organizers were able to pull off a last minute save. It would seem that a culture of instant gratification is prevalent amongst the youth of today, driven perhaps by excessive indulgence in television, video games and the internet. As a result, sport is not as popular amongst the youth as it used to be. Therefore, a tournament such as this is encouraging. It nurtures through peer interaction, not only physical, but social and emotional growth. You need to get more weight. Don't be afraid of the ball. Keep possession of the ball. How did you get the ball? You're looking for this man because you know he's free. You push the ball, he's going to score the goal. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, Darian. Darian. Come in, Darian. Keeps the youth away from all the other criminal elements and drug abuse that's going on. By having an event like this, it draws everybody to this ground. And it's also bringing the parents as well along. So it's giving the family day to spend with their children. It's the atmosphere that it brings the family. Uh, it's very family orientated. Everybody's here to support their children, their husbands, their uncles, aunts. It's fun. Well, it's nice to see people coming together. At least we get to spend the day with family as well. Sport helps him to focus. They, they, they learn different roles when they're in sport. It helps him to express their feelings, relieve them of stress. And it actually leads them to developing to be a better individual in life later on. It's very important for young people to be involved in sport simply because it keeps them occupied and we're offering them alternatives instead of telling them not to do certain things. The young players are keen to walk away with a medal or a trophy, but ultimately there are no losers in this tournament. The Gift of the Givers 2010 soccer tournament was an immense success. More than merely being a sporting event, it ascribed to a deeper purpose of honouring the role that sport can play in developing young minds. It also stressed the importance of family and community and creates a togetherness that crosses race.